All right, guys, let's move on. Um, so you guys have gone through and sort of uh, populated some of the grass in these areas. Um, so what we're going to do is I have a, a sort of secondary challenge for you. Um, by now, you should be able to, I guess, complete or populate the rest of the curb. So um, I'm just going to pop in the grass, and then I'll have you guys actually model in the curb. Um, so let me just kind of pull up a quick image of a um, curb cut. Uh, actually, let's look at a driveway apron. Well, anyway. All right, I don't want to do the image thing because um, that will just confuse you. So, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, grass in the area behind. So um, I'm just going to draw a line. Um, along this face, a line on each of these faces, one there, one here, um, oh, and one back there. I don't know if you guys are following what I do for these shortcuts yet, but hopefully you're learning. Unjoin that, create a profile on that side. Um, I need to do another one. And I'll create a profile here on this side. Okay, so um, real quick, I just, uh, oh, we have a little curb thing. Um, so all I did was um, just really swiftly created the grass part, um, and there's no curb currently. So what I'd like you guys to do is to model a six inch wide, six inch deep curb on the front face of this thing um, and have it dip with the apron. Okay, is that clear what I'm asking of you? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. All right, I'll give you guys a little bit of time, and then uh, I'll, I'll kind of follow up in the same video with uh, the solution. Okay, so uh, for the solution, um, we need to do uh, just really two simple things. Um, first and foremost, I said that it's a six-inch curb, so it needs to be six inches deep um, and six inches wide. The six inches wide part isn't the challenge, the six inches deep is. So we actually need a six inch floor type. You could do it with a wall maybe, theoretically, but uh, it's easier to do it with the floor. So I'm gonna say, um, create similar with the sidewalk, edit type, I will duplicate this, and we're gonna say um, concrete paving curb. Or in theory, you could just say concrete paving six, six inches, concrete paving four inches, in fact, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So this is going to be concrete paving six inches, and then um, sidewalk is going to be concrete paving four inches. Okay, sorry, back on track here. So concrete paving six inches, edit the structure, make it six inches. That's one. Um, the other thing is we have to uh, create the actual um, curb. So I noticed that a lot of you are trying to do it in pieces, but I think the part about the apron that you guys, um, you know, neglected to sort of extrapolate from that lesson is that you don't have to do it in pieces. You can modify the sub-elements and, and modify the elevations of each piece um, all in one strip of curb. So um, let's, uh, let's create a curb. It's going to be six inches from there to there to there. Uh, let's copy that. Six inches. Here. Okay. So we've got, uh, oh, can't intersect. What line is intersecting? Oh, I had two. Okay. All right. So there's our six inch curve, um, but it's not dipping with the apron like we needed to. Um, I'm going to go back into plan view to modify this thing. So remember, we had, um, we had these, uh, I guess, um, construction lines that we were working with before. So I'm going to redraw a couple of those. I'm going to draw one here again. I'm going to draw one here again. Because the area that we need this curb to slope is along the face of that apron flange. Okay, So um, we'll do the same thing here and here. So now this curb, I'm going to modify those sub-elements of that curb, and I'm going to add points here and here, 
here and here, and the same thing on the other side. So while uh, the whoops, um, while the edges of the top of the flange are still at the same height as the rest of the curve, all at zero zero. Um, this bottom side actually needs to be modified to be minus six. And I could do that through modifying the height of each point, or I could just select each um, edge and then modify that to be minus six inches. So that became minus six, and this will be minus six inches. Now when I'm done, I've got a calibrated flange. So that's the method I would suggest. So I'd like to see you guys uh, emulate that here as well. Any questions? All right, let's do that and then we'll move on to a couple other things.